Frederick Leonard Clark was an American film and television character actor. Career born in Lincoln, California, Clark made his film debut in 1947 in The Unsuspected. His 20-year film career included nearly 70 films and numerous television appearances. As a supporting player, with his gruff voice, intimidating build, bald head and small mustache beneath an often scowling visage, he was often cast as a testy film producer, crime boss, landlord, employer, doctor, or general. In 1942 during World War II Clark joined the United States Navy and served as a pilot. He later transferred to the United States Army and served with the Third Army in Europe until the end of the war. Among his films were Ride the Pink Horse, Mr. Peabody and the Mermaid, Flamingo Road, White Heat, Sunset Boulevard, A Place in the Sun, How to Marry a Millionaire, The Court Martial of Billy Mitchell, How to Be Very, Very Popular, Daddy Long Legs, Auntie Mame, and Visit to a Small Planet. Although he continued making films during the 1960s he was more often seen on television, as a regular on The George Burns and Gracie Allen Show as neighbor Harry Morton and guest roles on The Twilight Zone, The Beverly Hillbillies, Going My Way, The Addams Family, and I Dream of Jeannie. In 1962, he and B. Benaderet, another Burns and Allen veteran, played Mr. and Mrs. Springer in the episode, Continental Dinner, the series finale of the CBS sitcom Pete and Gladys, starring Harry Morgan and Kara Williams. Clark had a regular but short-lived role in the 1966 ABC sitcom The Double Life of Henry Fife as the Central Intelligence Service, boss of a hapless conscripted spy played by comedian Red Buttons. Personal life Clark was married to actress Bene Venuta from 1952 to 1962, then model Gloria Glazer from 1966 until his death from liver disease in Santa Monica, California. Clark has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for his work in television, at 1711 Vine Street, 